Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the December Horror Block, which has shown up for me on uh, January 4th. Uh, I'm unboxing it as soon as I got it, basically. Um, I already took the uh, cellophane off of the outside that they've been doing for these boxes. Um, so, you know, that's not a factor. It's just easier to get into. Uh, I actually have now gotten this new design box. All my previous ones were the old school style, so I like the new design quite a bit. Um, actually, if you haven't seen it, I guess I can show you. Uh, there you go. It's got, you know, Gremlin on it, and Dracula, and Freddy Krueger, and all that kind of jazz. It's the same on each side. But, um, so we had some issues last month with, you know, with this. Uh, it came really, really late. It was the November box. And then it came on December 16th, which was crazy late. Uh, and part of it was probably because they were trying to wait for more stock or figure out what to do with the whole issue that they had where they gave me two shirts that were totally unrelated to horror instead of the horror one they were supposed to give because they ran out of stock. Um, but at any rate, uh, I sent them some stuff. At first, their customer service was basically like, because I complained, well, let me backpedal, because I complained, I sent them uh, something their customer service saying, hey, I'm really not down with this, I mainly just get this block for the shirts, and you didn't give me a horror shirt. You gave me two other shirts, but they have nothing to do with horror, so I, what are you going to do about this? So the response was, oh, we sent you those two shirts as a replacement, to which, I mean, that just ticked me off because I know, I already addressed that in what I was saying to you. And I said, that's not fine. So I basically then said, look, I get this for the shirts. Those had nothing to do with horror. You could have at least contacted me and asked, you know, is it okay if we do this? You know, just work it out. Like, that's customer service. You contact the person if there's an issue and say, hey, how can we make this good? Instead of just being like, well, just throw two random shirts in there and hopefully they're fine with it. So I was pretty irked about that. And I said, and at the end of that, I just said, look, I want a refund now. Give me a refund because I'm very unhappy with this. So they took that very seriously, which was good, and then they said, well, let us get back to you. If I, uh, They did not get back to me. I had to um, kind of poke them again and said, hey, I want to check in on this situation. So then they got back to me and they said, okay, so how about we give you credit to get a t-shirt off of our sister company's website, Shirt Punch. Uh, you can pick any horror shirt you want, free shipping, we'll cover everything, you're good. I was like, great, actually that's perfect. That's probably what they should have done in the first place. And that would have been appropriate because then they wouldn't have sent me two other shirts and it just would have saved a lot of frustration and time and money. So at any rate, nerd block people, horror block people, if you see this in the future, just do that. Just give people credit to get like a free shirt of their choosing from Shirt Punch. That makes more sense, that is good. So we're fine now, we're good. Um, but last month's block was not the best, um, and I feel like the blocks have been getting kind of like, eh. Um, so this will be a pivotal box for me. Uh, there's Army of Darkness item in it, and if the Army of Darkness item is not good, I'm going to be kind of upset. And if the t-shirt is not good, I'm definitely going to be upset too, but we'll see. Oh, and uh, a little more information on the t-shirt that I'm going to be getting to replace for last month. Uh, it's a really cool mashup between Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas and Freddy Krueger. So it looks great. Uh, I ordered it. It's been like weeks. I haven't gotten it yet. It said it shipped. I don't know why it's taking so long. I'm sorry if you hear my cat yelling in the background. She wants attention, but you know. So um, we'll see if it shows up. I might have to update on that, but it's been a while and I feel like it should be here by now. But customs, all that, it's coming from Canada. So at any rate, I'm done with this. I'm done with talking about that. Let's get to the actual box. All right. Uh, I'll do the shirt first, like I typically do. This could set the tone. If this is an Army of Darkness shirt, I'm going to be happy. If it's something stupid, I'm not going to be happy. Uh, well, I mean, this is a so-so shirt for me. Uh, we got another Ouija um, item. It's a shirt. I mean, obviously, it's a shirt that looks like a Ouija board. That's okay. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's kind of an in-between. Um, I don't know. I kind of would want to see something a little more interesting and clever. I mean, it's, it is just like a, a Ouija board shirt. 
Um, I do find it kind of stupid that we got a Ouija item two boxes ago. So to be repeating items, I mean, it's not obviously it's not the exact same item, but repeating from the same thing, I think is kind of a bad bad deal. Uh, the last thing we got was a Ouija um, clip, money clip. So I, I don't know. I find it kind of stupid that you have to pull from the same thing. Uh, there's a lot of horror material out there, so I don't know. That, but all that said, the shirt's fine. I'm not huge on it. I mean, I can wear it. It's it's okay. Is it my size? Let me check. I better do that. Okay. Yes, it is. We're good on that. All right, next. I hope there's some decent, good stuff. Okay, something in a interesting box. I like the emblem. The emblem looks cool. Hopefully... It's a cool item. What is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. At first I was like, it's a candle. And it is. But it's one of those, like, um, it's one of those candles that's not really a candle that you light. It's one of those, like, electric candles. You know, you just put a battery in there and you do it up. Oh. And it already, oh, it'll already light up. Oh, there you go. That's cool. And it's like satanic. I don't really care. That's, you know, whatever. But let me take this thing off. Because this is, it looks kind of... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's just a protected, I guess. But, um, it's, it's very off. Like, look at this. Like, where it is... Okay, so first of all, it's not, like, even if it's sitting flat, it's not even, like... It's askew to the point where it definitely should not be askew. And then watch this. The the emblem's on the other side, too, and they should pretty much line up. Look at it. It's way up there. Um, so the, the emblem going on to this did not go too well. Uh, Concept-wise, I think it's a decent concept. Uh, I know a lot of people like these types of things. My wife actually does. I don't think she's going to particularly like this one <laughs> because of the, you know, design. But... I mean, good in theory, the execution, once again, is off. Um, that's the same kind of thing we ran into with their product from um, the Gremlins product from last month. The execution on that product was off. Um, it was a good idea. It was a snow globe, but they didn't look good at all. So another one of those things. It actually looks good. It's just not executed at all. Too great. Okay, whatever. So at any rate, all right. Oh, uh, this is an item. This is a Nerd Block exclusive item. Uh, knew about this. It's a Freddy Krueger flask. I knew this was coming. This wasn't the item that was supposed to be in the October block, but they couldn't make it in because they got a problem with customs. So I'm not big on flasks, but I can excuse the fact that they're doing a flask if it looks good because it's just not my interest, you know. Um, yeah, that doesn't look bad. That's not bad. I mean, if you want a flask, if you like flasks, it looks like a Freddy Krueger flask. I mean, it it's what it's supposed to be, you know? And, you know, it doesn't seem like it's a cheap piece of crap or anything. Like, it's fine. Um, I just, I don't have use for flasks at all. That's just me. But could I find a home for this? I might be able to. Um, design's cool, though. I like, you know, the slashes that are there. That's fine. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm just gonna throw this stuff down there to, you know, get it out of the way. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. We're gonna have an American Horror Story stuff uh, thing I knew. Is this a mug? What is this? Oh. It's a mug without a handle? It is hand wash only. And don't microwave it. But it is, it looks like it's like a, a mug, kind of. Um, that's, I guess, from their Coven at a season? American Horror Story Coven? Or I don't know if that's from Asylum. It's one of the two. But at any rate, um, that's it, what it is. It's like the emblem face from it. Um, uh, don't really care about this. It's really simplistic, to be honest. I mean, all it is is like 
There's barely any color to it. There's barely anything to it, period. If you're a really big American Horror Story fan, you might be cool with this. But just looking at it, it's hard to know what it's from if you're not super familiar. Um, eh. Eh. Well, I think... What's this? Oh! Eh. Army of Darkness item. It's a, it's a mouse pad. Okay. Um... I don't really use mouse pads because I use a laptop primarily. Um, so I don't have a ton of use for it. But that said, it looks good. Um, it's basically just straight up from, you know, like a print from Army of Darkness, but on a mouse pad. Uh, so that looks good. I mean, that is a good Army of Darkness item. I would 100% use this if I really used a mouse pad. Um, which, I mean, I have a, a desktop computer down in the basement, so maybe I'll just put this under it just for that reason. Um, so that's fine. I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. I'm actually happy with this item. It just sucks that I don't really use mouse pads a ton, but I can display it in some way. I am happy with this. That, that's good. I'm down. And then I'm assuming all that's left is Rumorg. Yeah, Rumorg Magazine. Um, like I always say, I love this, love this, love this magazine. I already subscribed to it, so this is just an additional one for me. Uh, if you've never read it and you can't get your hands on it, definitely read it if you're into horror because it's awesome. Um, so, that's fine. Uh, and then they usually have their things in here about what's coming up next month and explaining what they're doing this time. I got my shirt punch thing. Um, shirt punch nerd block. You can redeem it. I don't know if you can see the code. It might be too blurry, I don't know. But if you want to freeze it on there, you can have that. I don't really want it. Uh, okay, so the uh, thing on here about the flask, it's a Nightmare on Elm Street flask. We know about that. There's really no, not too much information about it. So the t-shirt's an exclusive. The Bahamut uh, candle is what they're calling it. LED candle is an exclusive. The Army of Darkness mouse pad's an exclusive. And then there's Rue Morgan, that thing. So there's nothing, like, different. So then um, they have their little teaser for next month. Next month, several said it'll be five exclusives. Uh, there will be Resident Evil. And there will be Silence of the Lambs. So Silence of the Lambs I'm most interested in. Resident Evil could be okay. I'm just not huge into it. So it also says down here that there are going to be five exclusive items uh, in this box. Now... I think that it said the same thing for this for this December box, and only three of these items are marked as exclusive, and I believe it said five exclusives. Um, hmm, I don't think they're keeping to what they're saying on their cards. Uh, they're saying it's more exclusives than there actually are. So, hmm, I might have to save this just to make sure that that's what's actually going on. I'm going to be checking for that five exclusives. I'm going to check because... They mark them, and there's clearly only three exclusives marked for this month. And I guarantee that it said at the least four exclusive for, for this month's block. So, I don't know. Let's see. But uh, overall, I'm okay with this box. I'm okay with it. Uh, there's not a ton that I can use personally from it, but uh, it's not the same old stuff, you know, so, and, and that's fine. Um, I would have liked something better along the, the lines of this. Uh, this is a good idea, but it's printed all wacky and off. It's not the best of quality. Uh, the flask looks really good, actually, for what it is. I just don't use it. Um, I really, really do like how, you know, the uh, mouse pad turned out because, I mean, it's, it's like straight up poster from Army of Darkness, which how much better than that can you get? You can't. And then the shirt, the uh, refresher, the Ouija board shirt is just... Eh. And stupid that they're putting another Ouija item in because they just did it two months ago. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to be really critical of Horror Block uh, typically going forward be just because, not just because I had that bad experience last month, but because they really, the CEO of Nerd Block really hardcore called out Bambox when they had a bad month in November. And, um, you know, when you call people out, then you set yourself to a higher standard. So, you know. But at any rate, uh, this was not bad. Uh, I might, uh, I guess I'll have to stick with these guys. 
uh, for another month at least. Uh, I, I'm going to give him a fair shot. Uh, it'll take a few months of not doing so hot before I'll decide to drop him. But um, this is not bad, so I don't feel like I should drop him. But at any rate, um, thank you everyone for checking this out. And uh, keep it brutal. That's what I say. Keep it brutal. <laughs>